this kid shine again. And we are learning all about the miracles of God. I hope you've been enjoying the miracles. And guess what? We've still got so many more to learn about. But before we get there, let's stand up and let's sing. And this first song, you know, it's Faith as Small as a Mustard Seed. Are you ready? Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, move mountains. Oh, faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains by the power of God. Let's sing that again. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, move mountains. Oh, faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains by the power of God. Believe what Jesus said is true. Believe that he meant it just for you. Wait and see what God can do as we pray. As we pray. Are you ready? Here we go. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains. Move mountains. Oh, faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains. Jesus said is true. Believe that he meant it just for you. Wait and see what God can do as we pray. Come on, last time. As we pray, let's see your big mountains. Faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains. Move mountains. Oh, faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains by the power of God. Ooh, and you know what? We can have faith in God. Do you know why? Because he's not just somewhere. He's on his throne. He is a king over everything. And he cannot fail. Oh, wow. Let's sing this one. Here we go. Have faith in God when your pathway is lonely. the least of his children. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Oh, have faith in God. He's on his own. Have faith in God. He watches over his own. He cannot fail. Oh, he must prevail. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Very good. Your prayers are unanswered. Fill earnest people never forget. Wait on the Lord, trust His word and be patient. Have faith in God, He'll answer yet. Oh, have faith in God, He's on His throne. Have faith in God, He watches over His own. He cannot fail. He must prevail. Have faith in God. Have faith in Let's sing that again. Have faith in God. He's on his throne. Have faith in God. He watches over his own. He cannot fail. He must prevail. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Oh, I think it is time. To watch another miracle. Ma, 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 miracles. Oh wow, well, that Jesus did, like walking on the water. Ma, 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 miracles. Oh wow, well, that Jesus did, like living in my heart. Say what? Like living in my heart. Now that's what I call a miracle. Dun dun. Woo! Hello! Oh. Yes, it's me, Professor Prove It! Hello, monkey! Oh, hello? I'm not really there, monkey, no! Uh -huh. I'm in my laboratory oh. doing experiments! I am zooming! Oh, a rocket? No, no not on a rocket! Uh -huh. and not in a car! No, Ooh. no, no! I'm on the computer! Oh.
bananas you want, bananas. Oh, no, oh. monkey. Oh, even if I wanted to, I couldn't give them to you because okay. I'm not really there. Oh. You see? Uh, I'm oh. far, far away. Sorry, oh, monkey. No. Uh, you know, huh? it is impossible for a person to be in two places at the same time. Uh -huh. You can't be done, and I should know. I am a man of science. Oh. Yes. But, monkey, you know what? Uh -huh. you know, there is a story in the Bible of a man who knew that even though Jesus was right there with him, uh -huh. you know, Jesus could still heal somebody far away. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's how amazing Jesus is. To do miracles is mm, oh. yes, and do you know what this man had? A zoom. No, no, he didn't have zoom. Uh, banana. No, he didn't have bananas. Oh. No, monkey, he had faith. Oh, yes, that's what Jesus said. He had faith. Mm. Oh, I tell you what. Let's look uh -huh. at the story, boys and girls. If you turn to your Bibles in the book of Matthew, hmm, chapter 8, verse 5, oh. hmm, then we can look at this miracle. Oh. Yes, it's about a Roman soldier. Yes, and even though he was right there with Jesus, he knew Jesus could heal somebody far, far away. That's how amazing Jesus is. <laughs> Let's have a look. What do you say, monkey? The banana? No, not the banana. Forget about the banana. Oh. Let's have a look at the miracle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to a special edition of KSM Kitshine News. And we are in Capernaum where an extraordinary event took place. With us this morning is Claudius Maximus. Welcome, Claudius. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Now, Claudius, you are a centurion? Yes, I am an officer in the Roman army. And what exactly does it mean to be a centurion? A centurion is an officer who is in charge of 100 soldiers. So I have a lot of authority. I know that when I say go, he goes. When I say come, he comes. When I say do this or do that, I know just by me speaking, it will be done. Mm. Thank you, centurion. Claudius, now tell me, have you been in Capernaum for a long time? I have. I have been stationed there to keep the peace. And so I have come to know the community quite well. I have even helped to build a synagogue for the Jews there, as I have many Jews who serve in my household. Oh, that's right. Now, wasn't it one of your servants that was involved in this event? Yes, uh, one of my servants, he was very sick and almost died. It, it was that bad. Um, but this servant, he knows Jesus quite well. And so we sent for Jesus. Jesus, um, this rabbi that everyone is talking about. Of course, everybody's heard about Jesus, his teachings, and of course, his miracles. Mm. Yes, we've heard of these miracles. Mm -hmm. Now, Claudius, so Jesus came to your house? Oh, no, no. I thought that would be not right. Uh, very improper, as I am a Roman officer and he is a Jewish teacher. I did not think that I was worthy to have such a man come into my house uh, under my roof. He did not come to my house. So, Claudius, you took your servant to Jesus? Uh, oh, no, no. He was too sick. We left him at home. I went and I met Jesus and spoke to him. But then how did Jesus heal your servant? 
As I said to you before, I, I am a Roman officer and I understand authority. If I say go, he goes. If I say come, he comes. If I say do this, do that, I understand it will be done. And I knew that somebody as such as Jesus has such authority that if he says be healed, I knew it would be done. And so he said be healed and it was done. But now, Claudia, so Jesus never came to your house? No, he did not. He never laid hands on your servant? No. And your servant was healed? Of course. What would you call that? That would be called a miracle. But Claudia, that's hard to believe. <laughs> yes, that's why we need faith. Excuse me, what? Faith, that's what Jesus called it. He said, I had faith. In fact, he said, he's never seen such faith in all of Israel. Faith. Well, there you have it. Jesus speaks, a centurion has faith, and a servant is healed. Oh, it's cold today. Yes. Did you enjoy that story about faith? Huh? I didn't see faith in that story. What do you mean? Faith is my friend. She's a beautiful girl. I didn't see her. No, not a girl named Faith. I'm talking about faith in our hearts. Believing when you can't see. Huh? Can you feel the wind today? Oh yes, it's cold. Can you hear it? Of course. And can you see the trees moving? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Well, that's like faith. We can't see Jesus, but he speaks to us. He's living in our hearts, and we can see all his miracles. Ah. Who made you so clever? I've been watching kids, Sean. <laughs> hey, Dirkie and Terence have a verse about faith. Would you like to go learn it? Oh yes, I like these verses. Let's go. Well, hello boys and girls. We've got another memory verse. No balloons, no sign language. But you are going to need a friend or a brother or a sister or a mother or a father to do this with because this one uses your hands. Okay, are you ready? We're going to show it to you and then we'll practice it together. It goes like this. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we cannot see. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Woo. Okay, I hope you got it. Let's go through it slowly. The memory verse is, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we cannot see. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Okay, we thought we'd help you to remember it by doing this. So, let's go over it slowly. Faith is being sure. That's nice. Sure. And then two claps. Clap. Of what we hope for, because we're praying to God for things, okay? And certain of what we cannot see. That's an easy one. And then where does it come from? It goes like this. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Boom, boom. There we go. And you can give a nice high 10 to your friend. Shall we try it together? Do you think you can? Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we cannot see. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Boom, boom. There we go. Good. Well, that is what faith is. We can't see God. We can't see a lot of things. And when we're praying, we can't even see our prayers going up to God. But 
We are sure about it. Even though we can't see it, we are certain about it. And we hope that God will do it. It's not just I wonder if God will do it. We have faith. We say, no, I have hope in God. Let's pray to Jesus about that. Jesus, we thank you that we can have faith because you are a mighty, big God. We've seen the miracles you did in the Bible, and we even see miracles today. We might not be able to see you, but we know you're there because we can feel you in our hearts. We can listen to you speaking to us, and we can see your miracles every day. Help us to have faith when we cannot see. Yes. Help us to have faith when we're not so sure. We want to have faith of the things we cannot see, and we want to be certain of you, Lord Jesus. Help every boy and girl to have faith in their hearts that you are alive and you are at work in their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.